All aboard the Elvis train. It's Cindy. Cindy. So great, they named her twice. Wish I was an apple dangling from a tree. Every time you'd pass me by, you'd take a bite of me. Yeah. I wish I was a bluebird. Yeah. If you was an apple, Elvis, oh yeah, I'd, I'd give you a bite. If you was one of the green ones, even if you was one of the red ones. I wonder what kind of like, I was about to say flavor of apple, but is there different flavors of apples? The Elvis apple, you know, growing out of the Elvis tree here on the Elvis train. I reckon he'd probably be like a mixture. He'd probably be like a, a green and a red one, like not a crab apple. I don't think he'd be a crab apple, you know, when I'm stewing it. Mind you, he does make me stew. And it, it, it probably makes a lot of you stew. So he maybe is a stewing apple. You, you never know. with him, Cindy. Why is he even asking? Why does he have to like make all these analogies just to get just to get you to go home with him? Seriously? How how, how much talking to do you actually need? Right, damn. Oh. There, James. <laughs> I like that, I like that. I got a big smile on my face. I've actually got a big smile on my face. This is this is not bad. This ain't bad. Did you in the morning start to call the pot? Did you in the afternoon fed me when I'm hot? Did you in the evening suck the time is through? <laughs> what I'm really trying to say is I can't get enough for you. Come on, <laughs> You fan me when I'm hot. <laughs> I reckon we need the Elvis fan to go along with the Elvis tree because he is the Elvis apple right now. Oh God. If I were a musician, I'd harp on just one thing. You should never play my heart the way you pluck a string. love the harmonica in the back as well. I'm rolling it back a bit. Uh, the way that he's singing this, it, it's a little bit more uh, up and jivey, right? It, it's one of them songs that he's he's having a lot of fun singing, and you can actually hear it in his voice. It's like he actually really enjoys singing this one. Th this is such a contrast between these and the movie songs, because you can actually hear that he's actually enjoying these ones, where it, if you, you listen to some of their movie songs, it's like he's he almost sounds drained. It's like I went back to, and, and I listened to a couple of them quite recently, and he you can actually tell that he wasn't fully into it, you know, in the in the last few films. It's like there's a few songs from that, and you could tell that he wasn't putting 110% into it because he, he just wasn't enjoying it. Where this, as I said, the contrast. He really enjoys this, and you can hear it in his voice. And he puts in a little bit more. Come 
<laughs> Home! It's a fun song! I enjoyed that one. Why would there be a, a conversation about this? Just go home with him. I mean, seriously, it's the Elvis. You know, he's growing on a tree for you. He's an apple. All these analogies in this song is crazy. It's like one of them songs that you could just get up and dance from. You could just dance around and, and you can have a load of fun with it. It is quite a solid song. Is it going to be one that I listen to often? No, I mean, I'll probably put it on my personal playlist, but I think I'm going to have to have it quite low down. It's like there's, there's a lot of other songs that he sings that I actually prefer. Uh, it's like, I, but I do love, I love the passion that he's putting behind this one. And his voice is just getting better and better. I Like, you listen to... The, the vocal progression of this guy, you know, from like the fifties up till now, uh, up to 70. Uh, it's insane how, how far he's come along. His, his lows, his like, his lower register really is shining through. Maybe it's the recording equipment of the time as well, really does help because some of his older recordings couldn't pick up on some of the really like low notes because of the technology of the time. Uh, so as the technology got better and better, it, it just, it showed more of what, what he could do. You know, where the early stuff, he, he, he couldn't really show it off too much. It's almost mono <laughs> instead of stereo, you know? So we're getting to the good stuff now in the 70s. I, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm going off on a bit of a tangent. Bring up the Elvis list now. Cindy, Cindy. Uh, I mean, it's, it, as I said, it was a, it's a solid song. It's solid, but I think I'm gonna have to put this in like high D rank. Now, I, I was just looking through some of these other songs and I, I don't know if it could make it into C rank unless, unless I see it live. Might be able to change my mind because sometimes you see him live and then it kind of alters your way of thinking. I don't know. So for now, I'll, I'm gonna leave it in the top of the D rank. Not a bad song, solid song. Yeah, I know. I, and it, it, it brought along a smile and I love the analogies. So yeah, 